Let's see what we got here. A rectangle's width was increased by 20% and its length was decreased by X%. percent. If these changes decrease the total area of the rectangle by 16%, what is the value of X? Well, you'll notice that this problem did not give us any firm numbers, right? We're just talking about percent increases and decreases. And that means that it should work for any rectangle that we have. So why don't we just make our own rectangle? We'll make a rectangle with some values that we decide. So why don't we just say a rectangle that's 20 by 10, right? A rectangle that's 20 by 10. And what did I do to this rectangle? Well, I increased its width by 20%. So a 20% increase on 20 gets us to 24. So now this rectangle is 24 inches or feet wide. And the length was decreased by some amount. I don't know, right? But it's shorter than it was before. So it's a 24 by unknown. And what we're told is that the result of this is that the area of the new rectangle is 16% smaller than the older one. So what is the area of the older one? Well, it's, two, it's 20 times 10, so 200. 200 square inches or square feet. And if I decrease that by 16%, take my calculator, what's 16% of 200? 32, subtract it out. That gets me to 168. So the area of this new rectangle is 168 square units. Of course, I don't know what the length is, but I can figure that out, right? If the width is 24 and the length is x, then I just set up this very easy equation, 24 times x equals 168, and I figure out that x equals seven. So how, by what percent did we decrease to go from 10 to seven? Well, if I start at 10 and I ended up at seven, then that's a decrease of 30%. So x, the x percent that I decreased is 30. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my live online GRE course, follow the link on my profile.